Facebook, don't do this to me. Hey, this is Marla with Marlo Gets Fit coming to you from Grants Pass, Oregon on this beautiful evening. The dogwoods are still blooming and it's a beautiful day today. It was a little warm though, so I hope, uh, hope you had a good day today. I have a fun topic tonight. I'm going to talk about some Mother's Day's coming up Sunday, so I have several. I dug into my shelves, into my cupboards to get a bunch of keto goody ideas that you can share with mom you know make for your mom if she's doing keto or low carb or if you're the mom that's involved with this make your own stuff or have your family do stuff with this so lots of really good keto uh, ideas for you so let me just get this shared really quick um, hope you had a good day man it was super busy today this week has been a crazy week for me I feel like it's been two weeks in one. <laughs> oh man it's been uh, one of those kind of weeks, all kinds of stuff going on at work, all kinds of stuff with business, family. It has just been crazy week. Uh, share. There we go. Got it. Oh, anyway, if you don't know who I am, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I work full time and I have a home business on the side and then I'm on a get healthy journey and I've been uh, doing this uh, low carb for about three years, probably a little over now. I've lost track now because it's kind of just a lifestyle for me, but uh so much better. I was totally miserable when I started and finally made the decision that I'm going to change my life because I wasn't living life. I was miserable and in pain and agony, pre-diabetic. And so now i uh, lost 87 pounds, uh, still working on it, but I, I am so much healthier. My numbers are all normal, A1C normal, not pre-diabetic anymore. Living life, having fun, playing volleyball, when we can get back to the gym. But uh, it's just such an awesome journey. I've been uh, having, um, you know, it's of course got its ups and downs, but it's just so it feels so much better and actually healthier and, and having fun with life and all that kind of stuff. And low carb for me has been I've never stuck to anything before in my life. And so it's just it's something I feel like I can stick to and I feel like a lot of people are having success with it and it's very healthy for you. Lots of great health benefits. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to come up with some sweet treats and goodies for you because I do have a sweet tooth. I admit it. And um, I have to have my sweet options once in a while for, for a little treat and Mother's Day is coming up. So, of course, we all want to have a little a little uh, um, what, extra something and maybe you don't want to go off low carb or maybe you do. It's up to you. However, you want to do that this year, I am going to be sticking to low carb. But I've got lots of ideas for you um, for um, special goodies for your mom or yourself if you're the mom involved. So, first of all, let's go. Simple, simple, easy ones. Um, for sweet treats, of course, my, my favorite thing to get from, from uh, Costco is the their low-carb bars. These are really yummy. These are a snack you can do. You could make something really cool with these, though, if you wanted to, like, like some sort of a cake thing with some sort of sauce on it or something if you wanted to. But these are really great for a sweet treat, super um, inexpensive for a low-carb bar. Um, and there's this chocolate brownie and then the chocolate cookie dough. This is my go-to snack. Kind of, I do this snack this quite often. I have these as a snack. Let me find a place for this. I got all kinds of stuff. So um, that's one thing that's really easy. Um, also, Quest has a lot of really good bars that you can get. And one of my favorite ones I've been really liking lately is their Hero Bars. And this one is um, the Blueberry Cobbler. Oh my gosh, it is so yummy. It has the the uh, coating on it, kind of like a birthday cake, which is my other favorite uh, Quest bar. So this is a really yummy bar, great sweet treat for anybody. Um, super easy, because you can just go buy it. And then also Quest has cookies that you can buy, and this is a peanut butter, which is kind of, I was all into the chocolate chip and then the, the uh, chocolate ones, and then now I'm into peanut butter, kind of switch around, I go all over the place. So here's that, that's super easy. And let's see, and then of course there's Russell Stover's sugar-free candies are a great option because it's just like, to me it's just like eating regular candy. Um, they have all kinds of flavors and this is kind of a, um, a pecan delight, kind of like a turtle. It's got ooey gooey caramel and nuts in there and chocolate. They have a dark chocolate variety of this and then they've also got um, like peanut butter cups. They've got, um, um, what is it, coconut. Um, an almond roca kind of candy. I mean, they have all kinds of flavors, so you can get all kinds of, you know, probably be able to find your mom's favorite, favorite uh, candy type item from Russell Stover's, and lots of stores have this. That's the great thing about these. Uh, most, uh, you know, Walgreens, Rite Aid, even Safeway, Winco, um, all those places 
I, I'm always able to find these. They don't have all the flavors usually, but they usually have at least quite a few to choose from. So that's a great option. I'm not sure what that is in the background. <laughs> There's a motorcycle and then some other creature, creature making sounds in the background. Now, another thing that you might not know about, which is pretty cool, is Jelly Belly has a sugar-free variety of their jelly beans. Yummy. Um, and of course, I just want to dogs barking <laughs> so to mention when you have anything like these the, the Russell Stovers they do have a lot of sugar alcohols in them um, which you can subtract from the net carbs for the net carbs but you don't want to eat too many of these at one time because they do have a laxative effect and you will be in the bathroom so if you don't want to do that don't eat too many at once but they're great for a sweet treat um, so that's that oh and then I did find uh, that this Brock's has a sugar-free like gummy, They're little gummy bears, which is always kind of cool to have a variety of that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get into more fun stuff. So there's lots of um, keto, low-carb, um, ready-made mixes. You know, there's lots of recipes you can make your own things, cakes and cookies and stuff. But if you want something really easy, you can buy um, pre-packaged baking mixes. So like this is. Good D's, Good D's um, is the name of this um, brand, and she has all kinds. I say she, <laughs> I'm assuming, um, all kinds of flavors from cakes to cookies to pancake mixes and all kinds of stuff. And you can order these on Amazon, and there's other places, you know, other stores that you can get it at. But this is peanut butter cookie, so you can make these. And I've made these. These are super yummy. I like these because they're really, um, they're really moist. I've had some peanut butter. Uh, recipes that I've used that are really dry um, and these are kind of a, a chewy kind of a moist so I really like those and uh, then she's also got here here's a pancake mix that she used and I also this one's really good and then hello <laughs> um, this one's really good and I also use um, carb quick for um, mix for pancakes waffles I usually do waffles it's a little easier to cook waffles than the pancakes for me the pancakes kind of stick sometimes but the waffles are pretty pretty easy but um carb quick is good because you can do not only pancakes and waffles but you can do biscuits and other kind of uh bread like goodies so really cool idea there and then this is a new brand that i've been using i just made the other day i made their chocolate chip cookies and it was really yummy i really like the consistency of them um lots of buttery flavor and crispy oh i loved them and so this is their brownie mix they have a brownie mix which Look at how yummy those look. Yay! <laughs> so that's really good. Now, um, Chalk Zero is a really cool brand. They have lots of um, candies, um, like a keto bark, you know, chocolate bark, different varieties that you can get, and candies. But they also have really cool sugar free syrups that you can do on all kinds of good stuff. That's one thing I don't have today, is I don't have ice cream, but if you got a, a low carb ice cream, and there goes the geese. Um, so if you have got an ice cream, you could put some of these over it. And I just happen to have um, caramel and strawberry. Yummy. Look how good they look. They look so yummy. Syrupy. But you could put them on ice cream. You could put them over a cake. You could make all kinds of really cool recipes. I saw someone do um, uh, a strawberry, like a fruit. It was a fruit. What did they put? Berries and whipped cream and then some of this in it and mix it up. Ooh, that sounds really yummy. Um, so that's some options. There's also sugar-free jellies, which are really good. Um, and I've been uh, eating this a lot on, you can use like melted butter on a low carb tortilla and a sugar-free jelly. There's a little sweet treat or my keto bread, which I absolutely love. And I didn't bring that out here to show you, but you can do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or toast with butter in a sugar-free jelly. And that's super yummy too. Okay. Is that all oh, this good stuff? Okay, so another really awesome thing for Mother on Mother's Day would be a big old mug of uh, hot chocolate, right? Hot chocolate, yes. Here's a sugar free hot chocolate mix. Yummy, yummy. You can put this in regular, um, it says milk, so you can put it in almond milk or something to make a chocolate drink mix that way too. But I have uh, been doing hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, so yummy. And what's really cool is I bought this from um, Skinny Syrups. Skinny Syrups is my new favorite friend. And it's foam topping French vanilla. Look at that. 
so I made hot chocolate, the low carb hot chocolate. I made it with this on top of it. Oh my gosh, so yummy. You could also put this in um, coffee because it's um, zero calories, zero carbs. So you could put this in a coffee if you had coffee. I don't like coffee, but I'm sure if someone did, this would be super awesome in it. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some adult beverages. So I bought these a while back and I really love them. They're Skinny's cocktail mixers and I have four different flavors and I just brought two out here. This one is the Moscow Mule and this one is the Maui Mai Tai. Um, and what's really cool is I, these are little packages like this and it has the mix in it and sugar free. Um, so you take this and what I did is I bring this with me when I go to events or something because usually people after the events they go out to you know the, the bars or, or to even just drinking at the you know restaurant and stuff like that have mixed drinks or kind of drinks and and uh, I don't want to eat all those calories and those carbs so I bring these with me and then all I do is I order like a vodka um, with club soda in it or you can do rum with the club soda in it or something like that and then I just eat pour one of these in it and it's super super yummy and zero carbs you know or very low depending on what the vodka has in it but um, usually very low and so this is a really great option to have um, if you want to stick to your low carb eating while you're going out and having fun with the adult beverage people now also um, the skinny syrups has a ton of flavors like this that you can put into your so if you buy your rum buy your vodka or your different alcohol that usually the straight alcohols like that don't have any carbs in it um, or one maybe one carb or none and so you do that and then you can put stuff like this and this is peach and I also got mango I got um, I got like a raspberry I got all kinds of flavors and this is zero calories zero sugars um, so you can mix it up mix mix uh, really cool drinks with that pretty cool and then there's lots of um, alcohol companies coming out with zero sugar alcohol so this one is really cool Smirnoff zero sugar infusions and this is strawberry and rose rose I guess they would call it so it's got like a strawberry flavor um, super super yummy and you could put this you could mix this and drink it as is it tastes pretty good like this or you can mix some other flavors in with it which would be fun and then they also had this one which is uh, watermelon and mint watermelon and mint yay you see that <laughs> so lots of fun things lots of great ideas so if you want to um, have some adult beverages with your mom or if it's you you know with your family it's always fun to be able to partake in those sort of things celebrate a little bit have some fun have some uh, keto cookies keto cake keto hot chocolate or coffee with this yummy stuff in it lots of good ideas um, all the candies and the cookies and Russell Stover's lots of good stuff you can see I have a, a well stocked shelf so I can always have a little treat when I need one and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this Mother's Day but I'm definitely sticking to my keto because uh, I don't want to gain that 15 extra pounds and I, I been having some struggling but I've been getting back to it been feeling a lot better I um I can't oh oh and I forgot to mention I broke my readers my good readers and so I bought new readers yeah I can see again hey Deanne party at Marlowe's yes party party <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna do but my family wants to do something so hopefully what I'm gonna do is I don't know if you can see it but over here in the corner is my dead pl plant from last year is my flower um, basket you know <laughs> and it had beautiful flowers last year and now it's all uh, dead so I said that for Mother's Day I would love new two new flower baskets so uh, hopefully I'll get two hanging pots and some flowers that's what I wanted for Mother's Day so hoping for that and um, I'm not sure what we'll do but I'm sure I'm pretty darn sure 100% we're gonna get out on the Jeep do a little Jeep drive, get in the hills, uh, get some sun. It's supposed to be really hot. It's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be 90 something tomorrow, which is going to be a little tough here because uh, our, a our AC is not really working really well. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how we handle that tomorrow. But um, it's going to be nice, nice and sunny. It was beautiful today. I did get out. I'm getting that exercise in. I'm really working hard to get my steps up and get my, I'm doing 5,000 steps a day right now. And then I'm going to switch it to 10,000 like probably next week 10,000 a day so I've been I walked out to the mailbox I walked up the street and I'm 
came back and I'm walking around the house to make sure I get my steps in. So at least I'm getting out, I'm getting some sunshine, I'm getting, you know, the fresh air and hearing the animals and the birds chirp and all that kind of good stuff. And the neighbor's music. <laughs> so uh, having some fun, um, getting the exercise in. And I did get on my Versa, Versa Climber three times today. And I made sure I got up um, three times today and did my little exercises in between uh, my once an hour thing. And then of course, another great way to add some exercise in when you, you don't think you have it, never just walk anywhere, never. If you gotta go to the bathroom, if you gotta go to the kitchen, if you gotta go anywhere, you have to do leg kicks and arm kicks the whole way. You know, kick, 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 kick. <laughs> do something to get that extra movement in and get some extra calories burnt. Never just walk anywhere. Just, you gotta do the leg kicks and the leg punches or the dance steps or whatever it is. Uh, to get the extra extra movement in there and that's what I've been doing get some extra movement and feel better so uh, definitely uh, pushing it up a level and hopefully you will uh, do that too or whatever it is that you want to do and if you have any questions about any of these items definitely shoot me a message I can uh, show you where you can get them you can eat order them multiple places online and there's some places that are a little cheaper than others and of course the neighbors working on their car or something over there too it's always noisy in the neighborhood isn't that awesome i love a neighbor with neighborhood with lots of uh, activity going on so that's pretty cool anyway if you have any questions about anything any of these let me know i'd be happy to help you and point you in the right direction and uh if you have some favorite items i'd love to hear you know what your favorite items are and also what are you doing for mother's day or for your mother are you doing something fun you got some fun activities planned i'd love to hear i'm not sure what we're doing but i'm definitely going to get out in the jeep and have some fun out in the hills and i will post some video and some pictures and uh do something like that but if you want some other ideas for um some goodies for Mother's Day, some items, something you can do. I have some recipes. I have a whole list of my favorite holiday uh, low carb recipes and I think there's 23 of them and some of them are um, not sweet related but most of them are. Most of them there's some cakes on there, there's some drinks, there's uh, cookies, there's other interesting uh, sweet concoctions on there so if you'd like that list just send me a private message and say holiday treats and I would be happy to send those to you and you can check those out because you don't have to worry about shipment on any of those because you could just go to the store and buy the ingredients and then make them yourself and um, one of them my absolute favorite is the caramel like peanut peanut brittle low carb oh my gosh it's my absolute favorite recipe for the holidays I make it every holiday and sometimes just because it's a low carb version of peanut brittle and it's super yummy and I absolutely love it so if you like that just send me a private message and I will send it to you and that's all I have today hopefully you have a great rest of your day tomorrow's Friday get ready to celebrate all your progress this week and I will see you in my next video